All right, give me a thumbs up for the effort of making the intro of the Logitech G29. So what's the big deal about this? Uh, the Logitech G29 is nothing new, it's out for more than a couple of years, uh, but I just got it and I actually got fully fully hooked up into iRacing. Uh, you find it on uh, iRacing.com. Um, it's a fairly popular uh, racing simulator and uh, the main thing about iRacing is that there is a very uh, great community online, uh, lots of uh, online racing at any time. It's very easy to jump into an event and race against another human being, which is totally exciting, much, much better than racing against uh, AI. What we're going to talk about this video, you saw the product uh, in the intro. I'm not going to spend too much time uh, reviewing the actual product is out for a while. You find uh, great reviews in YouTube, uh, much better than I could do uh, to go into a lot of details. However, talking specifically um, within uh, iRacing, I want to cover how to properly set up uh, the wheel for a racing. I found myself having a lot of uh, understeer and sometimes uh, easily uh, losing control of the car and at the beginning I thought it simply was because I was sucking hard uh, but actually uh, that's not the case. The case is that the configuration of the wheel may be uh, slightly misleading uh, into uh, iRacing. Before we get into the configuration, just, just a quick roundup on what you get. You get the wheel, um, you get uh, pedals which include a clutch but unfortunately the G29 is not coming with a shifter. I may consider buying a shifter um, although looks like especially in iRacing is not used a lot. Uh, lots of people go with the auto clutch and the sequential gear but for the sake of realism and immersion uh, I may like to consider eventually to uh, use the clutch a little bit more. However to have the clutch uh, is still pretty useful uh, especially when you're starting a race uh, as it makes it easier to uh, start nicely without being in neutral and then switch to first gear. You can just be in the first gear with the clutch all the way down and then just let the clutch go and start your car. Now, uh, one thing about the G27, as you can see, uh, the accelerator, the throttle is very easy to operate. I can push it down uh, with my hand, but there's no way you're pushing till the end the brake. In fact, the brake pedal is very hard. Um, even by pressing it with your leg, you need to press it uh, with a fairly amount of strength. Now, it's important that you get used to the brake. Um, I tried um, at the beginning to set it up not at its full strength, but until where I felt that it was 100%. But I suggest you to go through the pedal calibration in a racing and then the throttle very easy. You just press it all the way down and the brake, be sure you press it and you keep pressing even when you think that you have reached the end of the brake until you get to the 100% in a racing then your pedals are fully set up now coming to the steering wheel the main thing you need to be aware of is uh, the amount of degrees that your wheel is actually covering the g29 is covering 900 degrees now there are a few guides here and there telling you to go to the um, device and printers in windows and uh, check the uh, advanced settings of the uh, Logitech wheel in the drivers, but that's not where it's going to uh, be uh, in Windows 10. If you're in Windows 10, and especially if you have another Logitech product, you more likely have already installed the Logitech gaming application. Be aware that if you have another Logitech uh, uh, device, you may not be uh, clear on where the wheel is. Be sure you select the wheel, and then select the steering wheel, and there you see you can set up the uh, degrees. Be sure that it's set up at 900 degrees. And I also enable uh, the spring to return the wheel to center. Uh, here now in the video, I put um, return to center feedback strength of 50%, which is way too high. I actually uh, more comfortable with a 10% because if not, the wheel is actually too stiff for my taste, but you know, up to you to experiment and try it out. Now, once you double check those things uh, into the Logitech application, be sure that in a racing, you start the uh, setup uh, of the steering wheel. Now, the first part is straightforward. You just turn it all the way on one side, all the way on the other side and return to center. Easy enough. Now, the next step is where you make it get it wrong. In the next step is asking you to tilt the wheel 90 degrees. And I will just at the beginning, looking at the wheel myself and yeah, it's roughly 90 degrees and there you go. That's not the right way to do it. When you do it and turn it 90 degrees, you notice that in a racing is actually telling you the amount of degrees that is registering. Be sure that you 
turning at 90 degrees when eye racing at 900. Then is when you have the full range and full sensitivity of the wheel. That allows you to have the full range of the steering and is uh, really made a difference on the control of the car. Here, for example, uh, in the Nürburgring uh, with the Ferrari uh, GT3, uh, I was able to do a few recovers, uh, as you can see by correcting the steering wheel, uh, things that I was never being successful with when the steering wheel was not set up correctly. So it's making a huge difference. Even to have a couple of degrees less in a racing will make not so precise the progression of your steering. So very important to do that. Um, what else? Uh, as I said, the, the clutch um, is not going to be used much. And even if you leave auto clutch, the clutch is anyway fully working. So you can use it for the starts. And um, other things to cover, um, as I say, the edge shifter is not present, but you can go ahead uh, with a sequential uh, uh, shifting and there's no problem at all. The last bit uh, you may want to be aware of is you will need some uh, way to actually keep the pedals in place. On the back of the pedals, you actually have um, some grip, uh, which may be useful, maybe if you're on carpet, uh, but still you will have to press those pedals pretty hard. Uh, that's why I'm using these uh, metal frames specifically designed uh, to hold pedals. And you can see you can put your swivel uh, chair uh, wheels in between uh, the steel frame and that is the best way to guarantee you have a solid setup. Of course you can go all the way fully crazy buying a full seam uh, setup but for now I'm happy enough with the wheel and this metal frame. But I really suggest you to look into something of that sort uh, to have a solution to fully block your pedal and you're going to get uh, the most fun out of it. So uh, that is covering it. Uh, I hope that this will be useful for you to get fully started with your Logitech G29 and iRacing. And uh, I found a game amazing. I'm totally into it. I'm trying to get a life back and try to make some video more back. Probably some more video uh, about iRacing will follow. Who knows? Uh, but let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, I'm actually on the way to uh, 250 uh, subscriber, uh, which is uh, quite exciting. Uh, but I need to arrive to a thousand to start monetization. I'm not doing Patreon, I'm not doing Twitch, I'm not selling t-shirts. Uh, I just want to, you know, start to monetize in YouTube. So it will be fully appreciated if you can subscribe to the channel. It will be a great help. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it has been useful. Please leave a thumbs up as well and see you on the next one.